I just want to keep it on. Okay. How's he doing there? Oh, he's doing good. He's 112. Total length. So that's total length 112. Tail. The Narragansett Bay Coyote Study was designed to uh, examine why coyotes were becoming more numerous. And uh, one of the things that the literature shows that numbers of coyotes are often related to food. He's kind of thin. It should be a this huge pup. I just need to pull it. There you go. That's what I'm going to do. And then just twist it. Shaking. It's quite a weight. I know. I got it. Okay. You do? I have them right here. Okay. Ear is 11.5. Height at shoulder. With every coyote we measure and weigh. And uh, Ralph takes blood. He looks for heartworm. And so, and we do a sort of general overall health check. If people get charmed by them and feed them, they get habituated to people and then they just think, okay, today you're giving me kibbles and tomorrow you're giving me a snack on a string, a dog. Except not weight. Uh, we use our GPS collars as sort of a, a detective's tool to figure out where these coyotes are getting their food and what resources are important to them. This is a collar that's specifically designed for this study and it, it's pretty unique I think. It's got a GPS component and a, a VHF radio component and this is the automatic release which will uh, which will let go at a pre-programmed time. Program this one for six months from now. But this collar will take a GPS fix every hour. Bobby, double check on the chip. Six zero zero six CC, like Charlie Charlie D. Yes. Okay. Twenty five. Yep. Twenty five pounds. Right. Yep. Can we get him ready for the wakey wakey. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Why don't we move him yeah. down there. That's beautiful in the grass. Educate that person, go there, talk to them, and explain this vicious cycle that you can create. Because the thing that happens inevitably with a coyote like this is you, you, they end up getting shot. And it's not really the coyote's fault. It's just, uh, it's been trained to be a pest.